be Rams House TV. What's good, Ramsey? It's your boy Snoop and your boy Jalen, and this is Rams House TV. Geeks. When I'm looking for the live reaction, when I'm looking for that live reaction, when I hear Glock 9 be blasting, you know what page I'll be on to catch it? Rams House TV like Magnus. And I'm gonna to the staff for traffic, because I'm a diehard Rams fan. And they match my demographic. They smoke a night, let me have it. Let's go. What's good, Rams? It's your boy Snoop. Your boy Jalen, and this is Rams House TV. Yeah, geek geeks. What's good, Talk. Ramley? Hey, two more weeks, Ramley. We almost here, almost man. Almost there, y'all. Sunday night football. Woo! Where we face the little little cats, the lions, the lions, the lions, man. the lions. Well, we ain't got that far forward, man, but we definitely got some business to take care of. Yes, sir. So we appreciate everybody for rocking with Rams House Fucking TV, gang, gang. If you haven't already subscribed by now, then I don't know what you're doing with your football lives, man. Hit that like and subscribe yeah, with man. the boys, man. Hey. We got platforms everywhere, man. Instagram, man. Also, TikTok, man. Y'all check us out also on Twitter. Hey, we back, man. We back. We Season five, back. man. Season five, man. Ryan House TV. You see man. that, man? You see that? Come on, hey, bro. It's what we hear, man. From the concrete, man. From the mud, right? Yes, so y'all already know, man. We been here. We have been live with it. We coming back with the lives. Y'all already know we ready to be active. It's active mm -hmm. time. Fair but, Hey, preseason is in the books. Finally. Um, three games in, three games out, and we're getting ready for the regular season. So y'all already know what comes with that is finding out who's going to make this 53-man roster, who's going to be out there come game day with the boys, man. You know, preseason overall, man, we saw some good things. Oh, we yeah. saw some bad things. We saw some, a lot of bad things. And we saw some things that kind of opened our eyes as far as what the overall roster itself mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, man. How you feeling though, Snoop? Feeling good, man. We back to football. We back to business, man. Two more weeks. Sunday night football. Week one is about to go down, hey. baby. Down, down, down. Yes, sir. Hey, like I said, Ramley, man, hey, this season, I know a lot of the Ramley is positive going into the season, as you should. As you should. Um, I think this roster can do big things, man. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I think this roster can do big things, man. Big I said. Things. Say I it think, again. I said. I said. This roster can do big things, man. Yes, sir. It all starts with Glock 9, man. Matthew Stafford. Hey, what can we say? Sean McVay. You know. Sean McVay. Sean man. McVay. Fucking like, Sean McVay. Like, Sean McVay, man. Damn right. <laughs> So, hey, we ain't going to go ahead and get to the nonsense. We're going to go ahead and talk about this 53-man breakdown, man. Who is making this roster? Who is the guys that we're going to have to count on come Sunday, Monday, the third? Please! We got to find out, man. So, without further ado, man, let's go ahead and talk about this roster, man. Let's start with the quarterbacks, man. The quarterbacks. So, right now, man, like, if I had to just had to just... Take a guess on who I think will be the quarterbacks on this roster. It's obviously going to be Matthew Stafford and Jimmy G. Yeah, Jimmy G. But, of course, Jimmy G out for the first couple games. So, I'm assuming that Stetson Bennett, I mean, he's already been confirmed to be a backup for the first yeah, two weeks. so he's going to be backup quarterback number two. Yeah, so he's going to be backup quarterback um, essentially for the first few weeks. I'm assuming that's not going to count as far as with the 53, man. Um, I'm, I don't know. Did Stetson Bennett do enough to, to reclaim a spot on the roster as a third quarterback? Do we need a third quarterback? It's Who knows? Seen, you know, but I mean, I got him making a 53 right now. But, you know, I Jimmy mean, G I, is, is scheduled to come back. So I'm assuming that Jimmy G is going to be our backup quarterback. You yeah, have to see he haven't played no preseason games. Yeah. You know, so clearly he is the number two guy. Yeah. So, I mean, Stetson Bennett, it could be the end of the road for Stetson Bennett. That's all I'm going to say. You know, I don't see Sean McVay bringing in three quarterbacks. 
And, you know, I just see it as, you know, Jimmy G, once he come back healthy, you know, he'll probably be the backup quarterback, presumably. So, yeah. I mean, well, we all know where it starts. Matthew Stafford, of course, man, he's going to be out there um, under him, on, you know, on Sundays. Oh, yeah. And, hey, we go as he go. Yes, sir. You know, so. The leader. Hey, leader. Lot nine. Lot nine. Lot nine. But. The clip is full. Yeah. Hey, the clip is gonna be full week one. We already saw it. Like it was, it was still, it was still almost full. Goddamn yeah. in the playoffs. I'm pretty sure my boy could have threw for like a hundred more yards okay. if he wanted to. Yeah, it's, but, all, it's all good. It's all good. You know, it's but, all good. So the running back situation, man, we got a little clarity on that over the past couple of days with the yeah. uh, with the release of Austin Scott. Um, mm. um, it, yeah, I, I, I I seen him bringing in three running backs. How you feel about that? Yeah, I feel like uh three running backs should be fine because I seen a uh, good. Stuff from um, Zach Evans from doing preseason too, you know. So I see why they're trying to keep uh, the three guys. Maybe Boston Scott will be on the practice squad. We don't know. Maybe it's still a veteran, you know, in the running back room. So I mean, we'll see. We'll see. But we'll probably roll with three running backs. Yeah, I got Williams, Quorum, and Ronnie Rivers, man. Like, oh, I think okay. Zach Evans gonna be the man, odd man out. Um, mm. You know, Ronnie Rivers ain't barely played any um, preseason. As yeah. we know, um, Ronnie Rivers was brought back um, with, with the restricted um, restricted tender in the offseason. So, obviously, McVay thought highly of Ronnie Rivers, you know, even dating back in the offseason. So, yeah, I don't. I mean, look, Zach Evans, man, he, he did good. Um, I could definitely see him coming back on the practice squad for sure, okay. you know. Um, but right now I got, you know, the Rams bringing in three running backs, you know, so. You know, of course, Coram is going to be getting the snaps if, you know, in case if Kyron Williams gets hurt, you know, he's going to be seeing a lot of the snaps in general, yeah. you know, just based on how, you know, they've been praising him and, and training him. Mm -hmm. So um, I think Blake Coram is definitely going to make an impact. He's going to have a role, obviously. Kyron Williams, of course, is going to come in as RB1. Yeah. Um, that's not up for debate. No. But Ronnie <laughs> Rivers, I think, is going to still get snaps um, in his offense. You know, McVay is trying to go power, power run. You know, away from the, you know, the norm as far as with the 11 personnel, definitely trying to get more physical at the line of scrimmage. Yes, sir. Um, and I think it all starts with, you know, having the perfect set of um, complementary backs, you know, and, you know, bringing in these three, I think they can all bring different traits, yeah, skills. Yeah, different, different skill sets, you know. Um, and McVay, you know, he's had a track record with running backs, but for the most part, he knows how to give them the ball. You're damn right. You know, so... <clears throat> Never doubted that. No, never that. But <clears throat> yeah, man. Wide receivers, man. Like, I, mm. there's one of those positions where it's like, man, you got a, so much talent, you know, it's like you feel like a lot of people or a player in particular, you know, is going to get left off the roster. But I got them bringing in seven receivers, believe it or not. Because, you know, you look at what Xavier Smith did in the preseason, like, it's hard yeah. not to bring him. It's, it's hard not to bring him back. Uh, you know, I don't feel like he's a practice squad guy. No, I don't think, you know, I feel like he needs to make the 53 man roster, you know, because he brings value as a returner and, yeah. you know, he brings um, receiving, you yeah, know, he as well. that too. He, he, like you said, he reminds you of BP. Yeah. I look at him during the yeah. preseason. He reminds me of Brandon Powell. You know, he yeah. definitely just overall, you know, playing style and what he can bring to the team. You know, McVay knows how to find these guys. Like, yeah. I mean, it's, I just don't see them cutting it. Nah, you know? I don't see it. And then he's been talked about on, on, on NFL Inside. So, hey. you know, so shout out to them. Hey, I'm about uh, Xavier Smith, one of the sleepers. Hey, look, when it's all said and done, man, like, I think he's going to make the roster. Okay. And, you know, Tyler Johnson, I also see making the roster as well. Jordan Winnington, 2 2, um, Puka, Cooper Cup, Demarcus Robinson. Yeah, you know, that's, that's, that route receiver room deep. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, it's good to have it, you know, where, you know, as far as the wide receiver room itself, you know, injuries come along, you know, and a lot of these guys, you know, particularly Tutu Atwell, they all bring different things, you know, and I, I'm all for, you know, guys like Tyler Johnson making the roster because yeah. um, Tyler Johnson is a veteran, you know, and, you know, he definitely is a baller. Mm -hmm. And he showed something last year in the last game, too. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, ain't quite touchdown. Believe it or not, he's also a Super Bowl champion as well. Yeah, you know. So, I mean, I got us bringing in these seven guys, and 
I mean, I feel like obviously Tyler, they're gonna bring back Taylor Johnson because he hasn't played in preseason either. Yeah, Tyler Johnson. Yeah, Tyler Johnson for them. Like he played some snaps in the preseason. Um, Jordan Whittington. Um, I could definitely see him being. Oh, involved he's definitely in making it. <laughs> like easy, yeah. That's easy. Like <laughs> you know, these guys prove in the preseason that you know. McVay just know how to find gems, you know. He 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 got he know how to find them, and as long as they in the in the right scheme in the right system, I mean, and hey, mature, the sky's the limit. And mature as a player, yeah, you you, you set you locked in with yeah. the runners, man. Tight end though, man. So I got a tight end, man. I got us bringing in three, yeah, um, with Davis Allen, um, Parkinson, and Hunter Long. You know, um, I don't necessarily um see us bringing in any. Additional tight end. I understand. Higby doesn't count on the roster. Yeah, because he's still on. Um, because he's on PUP. Yeah. And um, you know, we can bring him back at any point in time during the season. So you know, they changed the rule where you can have more than one player start on IR. You know, to start the season. But overall, I, I like the tight end room. They bring in different skills. Davis Allen, um, obviously had um, um, showed some growth last year. You know, towards the end of the year, yeah. playing a lot. You know, in the, in the absence of Tyler Higby. Mm-hmm. And um, you're adding Kobe Parkinson now from Seattle, um, who can bring in receiving as well as blocking. Yeah, um, that too. In this offense, and McVay, you know, he definitely coveted that when he was available on the market. And I, hey, and speaking of like in Kobe Parkinson, he can also be a red zone threat too. That's something that big, we, big guy. Yeah, that's big something guy. That we definitely need to look up in the red zone. Big guy. Last year doing that red zone, y'all were looking kind of iffy out there. I mean, shit, we haven't had like a true red zone threat since. Triple Crown Cooper Cup. Yeah, I mean, we want to be honest. Yeah, like right. in the red zone with Cooper Cup in twenty twenty one, like he was guaranteed, was guaranteed to score. Touchdown. He was guaranteed to score. Touchdown. So I mean, you know, struggling just... in like in that apartment for like two years. Oh yeah, no doubt. And you know, I like to be able to have that red zone threat. You know, to be able to just you know get a guy you know framed up, throw the ball up to him, and he come down with it. Right. You know, Higby definitely shows spurts of that as the tight end. When you know when he was healthy, but lately he ain't been healthy. And, you know, um, we went out, uh, spent some money at tight end, got Kobe Parkinson, who uh, can block, receive, mm-hmm. you know, been in this type of system before. So, you know, he, and he obviously been making some splash plays, you know, throughout oh, yeah. camp. So And a hometown guy as well. Yeah, hometown guy, West Coast guy. So, I mean, stand, you know, I'm staying in the West Coast. So, I mean, hey, like, I overall, I like the tight end room. Yeah, got a lot of decent. youth, mm-hmm. um, and they can bring a lot to the table. So I'm different, too. So I'm different once again. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about versatility. Yeah. Like, you know, we we live out that and uh, with the ramp. So horns up. Yeah, who wants the fuck up, man? Hey, and drop in the comments, man. As far as like with the offensive weapons, man, offensive playmaker, skill players, man. Who y'all feel, man, shouldn't be left off the roster yeah. out of these guys that we mentioned. Drop but, y'all comments. Please. I mean, but um, right now we got the offensive line. It's starting with the tackles, man. Hey, I got Rob, of course, man, with um, Joe Noboom backing them up, followed by um, McClendon. Um, of course, um, you know, um, Alder Jackson, he's out for the first two games, um, due to the, um, policy, what, substance, 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 substance policy. policy. Yeah. So he'll be back after week two. Um, but, um, I particularly got his, his spot designated for somebody else on the offensive line. Reason why I'm only saying three, um, three tackles, um, because I think these would be the three tackles that we're going to the season with Rob Havenstein, of course, you know, long, yeah. long time round. Of course. Um, no boom, of course, you know, um, adjusting that contract. You know, everybody was on no boom ass. <laughs> yeah, it know, definitely was. Overall, man, he, de- he he still brings depth to this offensive line. And, you know, with the way that, you know, the offseason and training camp and the, how the injuries p- start piling up, you know, Jonah Jackson should be cleared um, soon. Um, you I, know, I heard some- it was a practice. Yeah, so I mean, they ramping up his um mm-hmm. his his um practice reps, along with the other um different um injured office alignment as well. Yeah. So, um, overall the tackles, I mean, Rob Havenstein is about as consistent as you can get, um, over there in the right tackle. Um, Alvin like Jackson, of course, yeah, will be back. Jackson. Yeah, he's straight. Um, and No Boom, he also provides some versatility um as the backup as yeah. well. Um, No Boom can have his ups and downs. I mean, so. yeah. I Let's mean, if y'all haven't watched No Boom. Let's keep it real. Yeah, if y'all haven't watched No Boom, y'all well, y'all, you know, y'all aware that he can be up and down. You know. He didn't show signs of, you know, damn, he's worth this contract. Yeah, and yeah. it's just like 
he getting beat every play. And it was like, like what the fuck? is this the same no boon that I see two <laughs> weeks ago? Like, are you gonna hold your own? Like, I mean, who knows, man? I mean, he got the money. Like, got he didn't got that bag, yeah. you know. And that was before he even started, like, you know, full, uh, full season with us. You know, he started games. He, you know, he showed his potential and got and got paid. Well, at so, least he got that experience. You know, that's a good thing. Yeah, he but, do. But, but another thing, you gotta clean your your loss tricks, okay? Man, yeah. so man, we had to see about no boom, man. But um, the reason why, you know, I decided to go ahead and leave a spot for the tackles because I felt like, you know, at guard, I think we're bringing in four guards, man, out the gate, you know. And um, one of those roster spots I felt like is going to be occupied by Zach Thomas, man, a guy that definitely showed some promise in the preseason um, as far as his versatility. Um, watching him um, move around on the line along with another guy that we're going to talk about in, yeah. in, a, in a minute. Um, was a pleasant surprise because it just showed that, you know, again, we can find depth at Office Atlanta anywhere. And I think he did enough to make the 53, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for for overall, like, the line depth is wonderful. Because the O-line in the preseason was playing good. Yeah. I thought the, I thought the O-line was probably one of the more bright spots yes. of the preseason, yes. if you ask me. I mean, just the way they've been, they was able to protect. Um, Stetson Bennett throughout the pro, um, preseason. Um, we had Dress and Win, and I think in the last preseason mm -hmm. game. So yeah. overall, I think they did a, a good job, you know. And oh, definitely, you know, that screams good things, you know, when these are your second string and third string guys able to go out there and still get the job done, not allow sacks, not allow a lot of pressures. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I mean, what can we say, man? What can we say? But yeah, I got, I mean, Zach Thomas was another guy that impressed me. It's hard to keep him off the roster. But you know, and he didn't impress me the Bengals game though. He has a one on one island against Trey, but I he mean, stepped it up though. I mean, that's Trey Hendricks. Yeah, like, I mean, plus he just got in the game, so I give him a pass. Right, I thought I thought for the most part, you know, he's showing signs of being able to be, you know, asked upon the, you know, in the event of things happening, you know. But we still got guys like K Dot, Jonah Jackson. Oh, yeah, K Dot. Um, Logan Bruss, another guy coming off an injury who was on the practice squad before. That's another one. Um, I think he's finally looking at it as, all right, this is my time to, to, to step up and mm -hmm. be that, that piece that we thought. And, you know, when we were getting out of college, um, out of Wisconsin. Yes, sir. And I mean, I got Logan Bruss making the roster, man. I mean, what can I say, man? I Ramley, mean, is he still Logan Bruss? I mean, I don't. Or is he, or he back? Stop the comments. Hey, Logan Bus, Logan Bruss. I mean, he's gonna be on the roster. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, be on the ready, roster. ready to block something. Yeah. But as center, man, I got two us bringing two centers in. Um, Steve Avila, of course, and um, Bo Lemma. I mean, Bo mm -hmm. Lemma. Yeah. Um, he, that's another guy. Yeah. I don't. You know. I. I you know. He's he's already coming in as the backup center in the event that you know things. Because we know with Steve Avila. You know he can move around the line. Yeah, so of if injuries happen throughout the line. You know, if in an event that we have to move Steve Avila, um, Sean McVay feels confident of um, Lemma's abilities on you know as far as communicating on the on the offensive line mm -hmm. and center. Um, he been showing a lot of improvement as a rookie, um, especially doing joint practices and things like that. Him being able to go against actual other players and you know live live plays, live football, not necessarily in game, but you know just being able. Being able to go out there with the first team, pretty much get those reps, you know, it helps. Sean McVay, you know, accelerates these guys' growth a lot of times, you know, by giving them first team reps in the, yeah. in the training camp and things like that, and allowing them to be able to move around and the versatility and shit. So, I mean, it's a good thing that you know Steve Avila and you know Lemma can both play Different multiple positions, positions on yeah. the line. Um, That's a good thing. It's a good, yeah, a hell of a thing. Because, you know, again, with Jonah Jackson just, you know, coming back from the injury he had, you know, if he's not all the way there we come week one, you know, we can always shuffle things around. Mm -hmm. And I think Sean McVay overall has confidence in the offensive yeah. line going into the season. Yeah, I believe in the, in the offensive line for sure this year. Yeah, I mean, we already getting slept on. Like, people yeah. are looking at us in the middle of the pack. I don't see how when we finished in the top ten last year. It's okay though. We te we finished in the top ten last year <laughs> overall PFF and offensive line play pass and the run, and we add a, a Pro Bowl guard. You know, add into the mix. You know, granted we lost right. Coleman Sheldon, but we added a, a a Pro Bowl guard. 
So if you look at the upgrade downgrade in that situation, like I think the upgrade, you know, was was it, it, it's there. You know, on top of that, you sign Kevin Dodson back. You you get Steve Avila back year two. Big move. Um, you getting pleasant surprise from the offensive lineman that you you got in the draft. Yeah. And I mean, look, it's a recipe for success. I mean, big guys, and you know that can fit the scheme. Um, it's all about keeping Glock Nine up. It's all about That's making it. lanes for Kyron Williams. Simple as that. And that's open, man. You know, I think this. I think this overall, this offensive line is underrated. Yeah. They don't get talked about a lot, you know, as far as like one of the top offensive lines because of the names. But last year spoke for itself. Yeah. You know, they, they ain't see that then. Last year spoke for itself. I mean, they played like a top five line towards the second half of yeah. the year. So it's proof. It's proof out there. Right? Yeah, I mean, proof the numbers speak for itself. I mean, look at Matthew Stafford numbers. Look at the run game. Look at all those things in the second half of the season. See how this offensive line overall was playing. You know, even in the Detroit game, yeah, the run game was a little, you know, but I mean, overall, man, like Matthew Stafford in the past game were able to do, you know, whatever in the playoffs last part of the season. So, I, I mean, I got high hopes for the offense. Yeah, I'm fucking with the offense so, line this year. Sure. D line, man. Going to the defense, man. Hey, on the line, man. I, Jared, um, I'm not Jared Fitz. Brandon yeah. Fitz, Kobe Turner, Bobby Brown, Tyler Davis, and Des Juan Johnson. Des Juan Johnson, Mr. Relevant, Mr. Relevant from um, a year ago. Um, I think our defensive line also has slept on as well. Yeah, you know, I think just the overall talent, the room deep on um, Kobe Turner. Obviously, you know, last year. Robbed the defensive rookie of the year, of course. But he's coming in, one you know, the leader of that defensive line, along along with young guys like Brandon Fist, mm -hmm. um, out of Florida State, um, Bobby Brown, who Bobby Brown. you know, I've been waiting for him to take that next step, yeah, because I know he can. And I think you know, with him being able to probably get more playing time, he might be starting coming out the gate. We're not sure, but you know, he didn't play a lot in the preseason as well. I know Brandon Fitz played no preseason, um, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, we all know that he's going to be um, a core piece um, within this defensive line as well with Kobe mm -hmm. Turner. But, I mean, how you feeling about the D-line? D-line is deep once again. You got some some studs on that D-line this year. Mm -hmm. Once again, some dogs. Another guy like Tyler Davis that I think he's going to make the freaking mm -hmm. roster. Yeah, I, I like, like the way yeah, I, like I saw Davis. from him as well. You know, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. D line is definitely there. You got Brandon Fisk, you know, Bobby Brown, Kobe Turner, you know. Yeah. Love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, and I think, you know, Tyler Davis didn't really play last game, pretty much was like signifying that he was gonna make the roster. Yeah. He's gonna be in that um, rotation. Yeah, he's most likely gonna be part of the rotation as well, along yeah. with Brandon Fisk and Kobe Turner. Mm -hmm. Um, edge rushers, um, we got V eight, of course, Jerry Verse. Sir. Um, BY, um, who by the way, um, was like one sack behind Kobe Turner last yeah, year. So another guy. Um relentless guys coming in the year <laughs> two. Um what can we say, man? We just know how to find them. Know how to find these guys, bro. BY Michael Hoyt. Um, Hoyt, 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 Hoyt. Got goddamn Brennan Jackson and we got Nick Hampton. So I got us bringing in five edge rushes. Um V eight, Jerry Verse. Um obviously coming in rookie, first round draft pick. Stamp. Um, he's gonna be stamped in the lineup come week one. Um, and you also got Byron Young on the on the other side, which I mean I think is a very um sneaky and, yeah, sneaky rush. good, yeah, sneaky good edge rush, you know, compared to what they might have, you know, got, you know, in years past. You know, I think, you know, with the power of Jared Verse, him being able to bend the corners and get to the quarterback, mm -hmm. which is bull rush. Um, and he, you know, him being able to work on, you know, additional moves that he can add to the uh -huh. arsenal. That's that spin um, move. Yeah. I mean, look. He's already coming in with pure raw strength. You know, he's going to be asked to go out there and just run through offensive line. Yeah. You know, Bullying. set the edge. Bullying you people. Know? And then you got B.Y. on the other side, you know, with the speed. Um, he was able to go out there and fly around, get quarterbacks last year. Mm -hmm. I think year two, um, he's going to take that next step. Yeah. And he lost some weight, too. Yeah. Got more, you know, more muscle, you know. So he's going to be out there flying. Um, Michael Hoyt, hopefully he's got his fucking hands in the dirt. Yes, we don't want to see rush, him in pass rush. But we do not want to see him goddamn channel his Brian Erlach out there. We're not trying to, you know, see him in coverage. And I, right. and, 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 and I did see uh, Brandon Jackson in coverage in preseason. Well, 
I mean, honestly, oh, Brandon honestly. Jackson is a lot more athletic yeah, than Michael is. Hoyt. So yeah. I, I, I would I would personally take that, you know, okay. than Michael Hoyt. But nevertheless, no know, Michael these Hoyt. guys need to be rushing the pass. <laughs> yes. right? But Brandon Jackson, you know, rookie that we drafted. Um, guy. And, you know, Nick Hampton as well coming in. You know, these guys that can come in as rotational pieces um, to add as far as to the pass rush, you know, the spell guys. Um, you know, no household names, but again, you know, as a collective, I think this is an interesting group. Cool. You know, especially, you know, being that we got um, two guys that we can look upon and get, you know, some pass rush, some consistent pass mm-hmm. rush in, in Jared Verse and Byron Young. Young. So, um, overall, the front seven, or at least the defensive line itself, um, looks um, highly underrated. Um, could make some noise. It's going to take some time overall, um, being that there's a lot of young guys. Um, getting you know playing with each other doing live games. Um, the first part of the year um could be very you know tricky, especially with Detroit. Yeah. Um, and we don't want to necessarily put stock in that because you know Detroit has one of the best offensive lines. In football. They definitely do. And you know, and then of course you know we got San Fran in week three as well. So I mean, like once the once the game slow down, from it's gonna it's gonna be an impact for sure. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's what it was for for him last year, Kobe yeah. Turner, um, and Byron Young. You know, playing with AD, you know, they got a lot of one-on-ones, you know, a lot of opportunities to make plays, and they just got better, right. you know. So, I'm expecting them to, you know, get even better and take the defensive line, hopefully, to the next level, man. Right on. Inside linebackers, man, you know, and barring any trades and anything that goes on in the next week or so, but I don't see it happening. But Ernest Jones um, and Rose Boom, I'm presuming, will be the starting inside linebackers come week one. Um, Omar Spates, bro. I, Omar Spates, I think is gonna be our. Um, he's next up. He he's yeah he's next. <laughs> right, bro is like got next up, bro. Twenty three year old running back, uh, linebacker. You know he's coming in, land the boom. You know, and he Anybody. was flying, and he didn't play in the last preseason game. So that essentially told you. Um, and if y'all ain't check out what Les Need, you know, if y'all ain't check out Les Need interview do I, um on Saturday, um during the game, I mean he essentially. Stamped it. He stamped it. I mean, he <laughs> said that bro was essentially going to make the 53, and he was going to be essentially on the 48-man roster come game day. Whew. So, I mean. I can see him on the special teams. I mean. For at, sure. Look, we might, necessarily, we might not necessarily be seeing him just on special teams. That's yeah, all I'm going to say. Like, probably on the defense I, I'm too. really high on, on my yeah. spades. Like, I'm, I'm really high on like my spades. looking like that guy, bro. I'm Super almost hard. to the point where I feel like he should be starting over Rosebone. Yeah. But I feel me. like the intangible. Yeah. Um, I just feel like he just brings more. Like, I mean, I, man, I don't know. He give man. you, he give you the speed. He give you the the impact. He, he was could fine, tackle bro. a machine. Bro, he was fine, sure, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, PFF had him ranked the third third best defender in, as rookie. Come in on, preseason. bro. Come on, dog. Um, he led um preseason um in quali- um qualified stops, which is disruptive plays. Um, that averaged the um. You know, essentially the no yards. You know, so he led um the preseason with those. Uh, overall, he was fine. I mean, what I mean, what can you say? You know, Omar oh Spates, he made his name, undrafted guy, um out of LSU, and I think he's gonna make the roster. Third linebacker, man. Yeah. Also, Jake Hummel, I got him making the roster as well. He make, yeah, he definitely making the roster. Um, you know, he definitely showed to me at least personally that. You know, he's a sideline to sideline guy. Um, he definitely can tackle. He's not afraid to tackle. No. Um, and these are the type of guys that you want in the linebacker room, you know, especially with guys like Ernest Jones. Um, and the questions he had, you know, we have with um his contract situation. Um, you know, we just glad to see exactly how, you know, it shapes out. Right. But I, I really like Omar Spades. Omar Spades, he's he's the sleeper, bro. He is the sleeper, for sure. Like, I like his attitude. Yeah, like, I I just like his play. Yeah, his like, play, his play crazy. like you know overall, like I feel like you know he's gonna come in and bring a tenacity to this linebacker group that we haven't had. He just um, wanna go out there and play ball, bro. Like, just imagine like. him and Ernest Jones, like bro. That's the that's the key, bro. Like if that's the if that's the um you know <clears throat> the outlook, then I'm down for it. Yes. My boy EJ need a roommate, bro. Sure, he definitely need a roommate. A roommate that's legit. Yes, and and uh, and no and no boom, no boom, rose boom, no Not boom. It. 
<laughs> Rose Boom is no boom. We don't want that. All right, I'm rooting for Omar Space this year, and I'm hoping that he can make an impact. Early. They go Omar. They go Omar. Cornerback, man. Like, I got us bringing in five corners, man. Like, I think overall, man, like, people can say what they want about the Darion Kendrick injury, but it definitely left a hole as far as in the depth. Yeah, definitely. Um, Trey White, D. Will, of course, um, is going to be the stun um, corners on the outside, presumably. Um, with the Kobe Durant, I'm assuming, in the slot. Yeah. Um, you're going to get a lot of um, the Kobe Durant playing more in the slot, um, Quinn Lake playing more in the slot. Um, a lot of versatile guys in the secondary, man. I think this is one of the more fun um, position groups that we have on the roster. A lot of versatile guys. And, um, you know, D-Will, of course, you know, coming back. A familiar. Familiar face. Yeah. Um, coming off um, one of his better seasons in Jacksonville. Um, he's going to be that number two guy along with Trey White. Trey White working his way back from Achilles and torn ACL in his mm -hmm. um, um, Josh Wallace, man. Josh Wallace, I think, gonna make this roster. Yeah, um, good. I thought he played pretty well in the preseason, and um, I was I would go with Sean Jolly, um, but I think in the end, I think um, Josh Wallace is gonna edge him out. Um, Charles yeah. Woods as well. Yeah, um, Charles Woods. Was Charles Woods. Too. Yeah. So I thought Charles Woods. These guys did enough. Um, to make the 53 man roster, especially with the Darion Kendrick injury, yeah. um, happening in, in training camp. Um, so I, I like the cornerback. Um, it's okay. Um, it's no. underrated as fuck. It's underrated. I mean, again, you got Tr Tr um Tredavious White. Yep. Um, it's where if he can just challenge, you know, anything close to what he had in Buffalo, um, I think we'll be getting a solid investment back as far as like what he's able to bring in, you know, at cornerback. If he bring like, he would lock up. Yeah, if he bring down all pro Trey White. Yeah, if we can bring back anything cool. close to all pro Trey White. It's a, it's a wrap. Because you already got Darius Williams. Yeah. You got the Kobe Durant who people been saying has been looking real good out there in, in, mm -hmm. in, in the offseason. Heard some big, big you know? noise about him. Oh, yeah. So, sure. um, and he's looked at as a veteran now. Look at that, you know, as a guy that's looking to take his next step. You know, a lot of guys with a little, you know, chip on their shoulder, you know. So, they all come together. It can be a dangerous thing. But um, be on the lookout for Josh Wallace and Charles Woods. Like, you yeah. know, I think those guys, if anything does happen, they can step in. Do I think they're going to become lockdowns overnight? Probably not. But they definitely um, depth that can, you know. Bring some. Bring some things to the table. Right. We just have to see. All right. But as I say these, um, I got Rush Yeast. Um, John Johnson the third, Cam Curl, um, Cam Kitchens, mm -hmm. um, Quinn Lake, and Jalen McCullough. Um, setting out our um, yep. our safety room. Um, yep. You know, of course, the first five I'm assuming you know will probably be locks as far as um staying on the team. But Jalen McCullough, I think, um, with the way that he played in the preseason, that's another one. He he worked his way on the yeah, roster. Yeah, that's another one. He bro. worked his way on the roster. Like, <laughs> dog, um, able to get turnovers. Um, you can clearly see what he was able to do. Um, physical, physical, physical. Um, I'm liking it. Yeah. And you know this safety room also as well as Deep. highly underrated. Yes. Um, and that's why I'm not too pressed about the cornerback position because you know again you got safeties that can go out there and um play the slots like Quinn Lake. Um, gotcha. Cam Curl, Cam yeah. Kitchens, guys that's gonna be able to develop with each other over the season, and it's gonna hey, be a beauty. It's gonna be it's gonna be nice. Um, again, Quentin Lake was one of the better um, um, slot defenders in the league last year. Yeah. Um, playing the slot, he's gonna get more experience at that position. Top ten. Um, but Jalen McCullough, I think you know he's gonna work his way onto the field somehow. Um, nah, he, yeah. Cam Kitchens, I, I can see him starting. Yeah, they're already saying you know, that he, soon. they got something for him yeah. on the defense. So I'm He didn't play him. a lot in preseason. So that, it was for a reason. A stamp. It was for a reason. <laughs> you know, and Sean McVay, you know, he came out and said that, you know, for precautionary things, he wanted to just keep him out. Yeah. And, you know, for rookies like that, you know, that need the playing time, it's good that they're able to go in and stamp that. Like, all right, you're going to be a role player in, on this team. Fucking you know, right. get ready. You know, get ready. That's all I got to say. Your John Johnson. Your number card, go yeah. out there. Play you ball. Know, play ball, bro. John Johnson coming back was a huge plus for yeah. us. Not a veteran. Um, Cam Curl. Yeah. Like, you know, I got a friend of mine that's um, now saying, oh, Cam Curl can't play pass defense. But, okay. hey, we're going to see. All right. We're going to see. That's my breakout player. Hey, 
We'll see. We gonna see. Yeah. <laughs> man, special teams, man. I got um Playboy Cardi, of course. Um, it's okay, man. He missed one field goal. Ramley It's nothing to be worried about. He missed two. Oh, two field goals. He missed an extra point. Look, at the end of the day, it's man. Okay. This is the best I've felt about our kicking yeah. position in a long time. <laughs> Like, we don't have to worry about the Sam Slomans coming in, the Brett Maher's, none of that nonsense. Have okay? shit. Have shit. Like, we, <laughs> no, no. None of that. You know, Playboy Cardi, you know, he's going to come in and I'm going to soon take the helmet in that kicking position. The main kick is 48 yards. Hey. Did Have shit did that? Man, Have shit can't even hit from 40. Have shit can't even hit from 40. Did Sloman do that? Nah, Sloman couldn't goddamn get the ball <laughs> over the crossbar. That's why he was Sam Lowman. Because his kicks was low, man. Like, what was the other guy? Brett I, Maher. Can he kick a 48? I mean, he can kick it. He just missed all of them. They want, like, the power won't want the issue with Brett Maher. It was the fact that he always missed his field goals. Even extra points. Like, the, bro, like, the guy was just off. Jeez. Like, so be calm, Ramsey. Be calm. But. We believe in Cardi. Playboy Cardi, man. Josh, um, Josh Cardi. Yeah, Josh Cardi. So, Ethan Evans, punter, of course. Long snapper, Alex Ward. Yep. You know, we had this last year. Ethan Evans definitely going to have to step his game up. Um, he was a little rocky in the preseason. Yeah. Um, Those short kicks ain't going to be a yeah, my guy. yeah. I mean, he was he was one of the more powerful kickers in the league. I think his net was, like, top three in the league last yeah, year. But yeah. overall, he didn't have a lot of, you know, hang time to it. It was just a lot of power. So if he's able to just balance that out and just, you know, make, you know, because it definitely changes, especially with the um the way they change for special teams now, mm -hmm. uh, how they influence the game now is, is critical. You know, them shanks is not going to work. It ain't. It ain't going to fucking work. But, yeah, man. Hang time, man. But overall, man, hey, look, that's the 53 man, man. That's what we think, personally, is going to make the roster. You know, and a lot of things can change from there. You know, we still got cuts that may come. Um, I believe that the rosters come out tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think the cuts start ending at four. Yep. Tomorrow. So we'll find out for sure tomorrow, Ramley. Um, you know, if y'all want, we'll also drop a reaction video as well. Um, to the fifty three man, of course, because you know, again, this is shot a day before. Yes, sir. And, you know, this is just our predictions. We don't know for sure. We don't know. We don't know. Like something. I mean, I could be surprised. Snoop could be surprised. Hey, shock me. You know. So again, this is just you know a prediction video, just to go ahead and put it out there. And you know, most likely we're gonna have another one for you guys tomorrow. Gang, when gang. that when that um fifty three man roster drop, mm -hmm. and then hey, and of course from there we'll be getting set up for our first live reaction. Sunday night football. Yes, sir. Rams versus Detroit. So if you like I that. said, man, if y'all haven't followed, subscribe, or what you know, all that. And welcome to the new subscribers as well. Hey. If y'all want to follow us on Instagram, we will be doing our Instagram reactions. Oh yeah. And the Instagram, Instagram reactions will be back as well as um <laughs> YouTube content as well yes, throughout sir. the season. We most likely gonna be dropping reactions after the game. Yeah. Um, pretty much fresh reactions, hot takes, you know, people more than welcome to, to tap in as well. But overall, man, we will be back on Sunday Night Football against Detroit. Um, and then we'll also have a reaction video tomorrow for the 53-man roster. Um, so, yeah, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Definitely stay tuned, man. Y'all definitely lock in. Hey, Rams House TV is on effect, man. Season 5, man. Y'all already know, man. Put your... Put your fives up. Put your fives up. Put your Ramley. fives up. Throw them fives up in the comments, Hey, man. And hey, shout out to the Ramley, man, that's out there also as well, dropping content. Yeah, I know man. tomorrow's a big day. Yes, sir. Find out who is going to be on the roster. So um, I'm pretty sure a lot of um, different content creators that drop their list and um, oh, yeah. different pre predictions as well. So shout out to everybody on that note. Yeah, shout out to y'all, man. Oh, I'm yeah. Hold it down, man. Yeah, got to hold it down because I know, you know, around this time it's very slow with preseason and, you know, watching you know a lot a bunch of different stuff so yeah. um we getting down to the um to the nitty-gritty and season in two weeks and i'm definitely looking forward to it yes sir back definitely. to business man exactly. i gonna stay fucking, tuned man season yeah. five way to turn up yeah it's definitely ready to turn up man man but on that note though i'm fucking Jalen, and i'm snoop and this is fucking ram's, ram's house, house tv, TV. You geeks, geeks.
And remember, man, and always remember, man. What's that? Whose house? Where's house? Gang.